and thanks for coming and joining us on Wildcard Wednesday. Today is going to be a fun little episode in my opinion because it's dealing with a European car that we're going to cure. This little girl right here is a 1964 Triumph TR4. And these came with little tiny four cylinders in them and manual transmissions and, and traditional English electric terrible systems they had. Anyway, this little girl, knockoff wire wheels. Obviously, we put some new Yantas on it. We started sanding this down. This was a project that we got for my son, my youngest son. He fell in love with it, and then shortly after sanding on it for a while, fell out of love with it. He's decided he wants to do a muscle car now. So, anyway, let me show you this little car. I think it's really, really cool. 1964 Triumph TR4. So, we did some things to it. So right off the bat, we put new tires on it. We sandblasted the rims because they were all ugly and nasty. And we started sanding on it to, believe it or not, do full paint and body on this thing. It wasn't going to be show car, but it's going to be full paint and body. See the knockoff wire wheels? These are wire rims. And instead of lug nuts, they have one gigantic lug nut type thing, wing nut in the center. And you knock that off with a lead hammer and then you take the tire off, just one gigantic middle stud. They're actually pretty cool. Wire wheels were some of the first wheels ever invented for cars. And the problem with wire wheels is they're very flexible. So this is a little sports car, European, English, British, some may say. And I think it's a pretty cool little car. It's got some cool lines to it. The front there, obviously, there'll be a grill between the headlights. A nice little chrome bumper, a nice little bottom on it. And you see that we started doing a lot of work on it. The thing we didn't want was we didn't want this to be a car that was a pain in the rear end. You'll see here, this is the windshield frame. And that sets up on top here, obviously. You'll notice that we have done some cutting down on the floorboard and in on the firewall. And let me show you why that happened. All right, so I just took the hood off and tipped it forward so you can see. So you'll see down in here, we went with something that's not a traditional British engine. This engine right here, just so happens to be a turbocharged four cylinder out of a 2013, I think, Saturn Sky Redline. So this little turbocharged engine puts out about 270 horsepower and will get about 30, 35 or 40 miles to the gallon. It's an engine that'll build really good horsepower and it will give really good fuel mileage. Looking in here, it's a little bit messy, but you'll see this manual transmission here and that's a five speed manual transmission. So that that will help us to get our fuel mileage and make it a little racier. It'll actually, run like a stripe at eight. Some people have asked me what that term means. My wife, for one. I don't even know. I've just heard it forever. We've taken all the chrome off, the, the tail lights, the bumpers, so we can start sanding it down and get some body work done on it. Now, because it's an abandoned project, I'm not real sure what's going to happen with it now. But actually, I think it'd be really fun to cruise around, you know? Wouldn't this be a fun car for me and the wife to cruise up the Pacific Coast Highway in, convertible top down, roaring and ripping up through the woods. I just think it would be awesome. Maybe we'll do that. Now there's probably a lot of you that never even heard of a Triumph car. You may know of a Triumph motorcycle, but Triumph cars have been around for a long time. Earlier than this, they had Triumph TR2s and TR3s, and the people in the industry call those knuckle draggers. The door goes down so low you could actually reach out and touch the ground. They're really cool cars too. But the heartbeat of this is going to be General Motors or American engine, American transmission, turbocharged, horsepower, fuel mileage, and make it a lot faster than it ever was. And I do like speed. At the same time, when you go fast, you have to be able to stop. So we're going to retrofit the front end with a larger diameter disc brake. It comes stock with disc brakes. In the rear end, we're going to do a Ford 8 inch. It's much smaller size wise and weight wise. And we can make it almost as strong as a nine inch, but we don't have a thousand horsepower up here. So we don't need anything more than an eight inch. 
We'll narrow that and we'll put disc brakes on the back also. So it'll be four wheel disc brake and it'll actually handle really well. And it'll be a really fun car to run around and like I say, go up to the Pacific Coast Highway. That would be something awesome. So I think it needs to be done orange. It was originally red. Maybe I'll keep it red, I don't know. Anyway, the plan at this point in time is we gotta finish it up and do something with it. Who knows? Maybe we'll do a giveaway car out of it. This thing will be a fun little ride. Look them up on the internet. 1964 Triumph TR4. Anyway, for now, this is gonna do it for this. Before I go inside and draw this car up, I wanna remind you that our new merchandise store is coming out. When I go inside, I'm gonna show you one of our new t-shirts. I took the original logo I did with some highlights and some shadows and things, and I gave that to the new printer, and they have given me an example of the new shirt. So I'll show you that when I go in the house. So anyway, let's click this camera off, get inside, and let's get some drawing done. All right, you checked out the 64 Triumph TR4, and now you're in to watch my illustrious drawing abilities. But before I do that, I want you to check out the t-shirt. <clears throat> this is the new t-shirt, front and back. And look at the additional detail in the logo. I think it turned out really nice. I like the garage better. I like it more rounded like that. You see the highlights, the little white areas and the shadows underneath. And anyway, I think it turned out really nice. So this is our new t-shirt. And soon, soon we will have our merchandise store up so we can sell all four t-shirts that people are interested in. So anyway, 64 Triumph TR4. Appreciate you guys coming by and spending time with us. Make sure you subscribe, like, share the video, turn on notifications. That way you can never ever miss one of our wonderful presentations. Anyway, let's get some drawing done.
Well, there's a rendering of a 1964 Triumph TR4. And we lowered it down a little bit to give it a little nicer stance. We put a roll book cage in it, a roll bar in it, in case you flip it upside down. And we have the turbocharged four cylinder inside, getting great gas mileage and lots of power. It'd be a screaming little car to cruise around the beach on. All right, well, that's it for today. I want to thank you guys, like usual, for coming by. I really do appreciate the time you spend watching our shenanigans here on this channel. Well, I really appreciate those of you who have taken the opportunity to subscribe, share our videos, tell your friends about us. We are coming out with a new merchandise store. I showed you earlier the new version of our t-shirt. I think it's pretty cool. We're going to do some additional versions later on. Maybe we'll throw in some of these stupid drawings I've done. Clean them up a little bit, make them look a little bit better. Make sure you tune in Sunday. We're going to have some updates on three different cars for you, possibly even four. We got the gasser going on, we got Ben's truck going on, we have Brandon's truck going on, and we're trying to drag out that 56 F100. So please come back by on Sunday, 7 o'clock. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.